Hey guys, and welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. In the last part, we failed epically at the hoverboard races, and now we're going to the Kogor Refinery at Orkson. So we're going there. Search the laboratories. Sounds easy. Oh no, we're leaving the sand mice behind. It's just like Pikmin. Oh, well, I don't really care about Pikmin. Anyway. Honestly, I had a lot. That, that game is harder than it looks, honestly. I mean, you know, whenever you see people... um. Whenever you see people play that, they make it look easy. Like, I'm I'm decently good at strategy games. I mean, I guess. I don't really play a whole lot. Like, I don't play, like, Civ Five or anything. So, oh, what the? Oh. Oh, we need the O2 mask for uh, organic life forms to be able to walk around here. Okay. So, I guess we're going to have to go with Clank. Jeez, this place really is polluted. So yeah, um, uh, should I global warming jokes? <laughs> Go on ahead, whatever. Um, this is the you know the Blark home planet. So yeah, we can't even walk around. That's how freaking polluted it is. It makes you wonder why there are even plants and stuff growing around here. Uh, because it would take forever to do this with Clank, I'm not gonna bother with all these boxes because. I don't want this video to go on for like a year. Okay, so watch out for those guys. Um, what the? I, yeah, there it is. Okay. So, punch those guys. You're going to need to get the little... Yeah, yeah. Um, we're going to need to get the Gadgetbots again. But now we're going to have to do some actually kind of extensive work here. Because everything we're going to have to do until now is going to be... You know, need to be done here. Well, I mean, at least until we get the O2 mask. So, um, these guys can't climb, but they can, uh, they can go through those little teleporters. So here, fo uh, follow. Oh, they can't do that. All right, well, uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh, uh, well, here, let's just do this. I think, well, I think you just have to get them and then you bring them up. So, haha, -ha, you missed, sucker. So, get your Gadgetbots. I believe there's still four, so... Um, try not to leave without four. Come on. Come with me. Alright. There's that. Um, come with me. Come with me. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright. Is there a fourth one, or is there not one? Doesn't look like there would be. Alright. Go in the teleporter. Come on, you slot. Get up. Get up. Hello? Oh, you moron. All right, get in the teleporter. There we go. Come with me. All right, so now you gotta have to use them to kill these giant cockroaches. Yay, 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 yay. Ha ha. <laughs> you suck. Oh man, I love these guys. They're so cool. Aha, die. No, no. Ow. He hit me. All right, well, get in there. Get back in the kitchen. Ooh, I just made a get back in the kitchen joke. And that actually works because... Oh, they're not really going into the kitchen, but you know what I mean. They're going in a building, so it works. Uh, nothing there. Let's see. There's not... Oh, you know what? I think I know how to get that... You remember the last time we were playing as Clank and there was a gold bolt on top of a, um, like a spaceship out in space? Um... I think I know how to get that now. We're going to need the O2 mask for that. I guarantee it. And then we can go out there as Ratchet. And then uh, he'll be able to just jump up there really easily. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love that. I love how a roach sounds like... Ugh! You know, he sounds like a human. That's just funny. Die, random things. Aha. Uh -huh. Don't blow up my gadget bots. They're too adorable to die. All right, so, um, oh my god, we need six? Jeez. All right, so, jump on it. Aha. No. Oh, no. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, that sucks. Oh, well, I'll go back and get him, I guess. Tis my fault. I apologize to the Gadgetbots. So... Um, you're going to find all six of them relatively easily, so don't worry about it, even if you do lose them. So there's four. I got to go back for those first two, though. Oh, there they are. Okay, that's fine. Not too bad. Uh, follow me. There 
we go. I like how they have, like, swirly eyes for the follow command. It's like, uh, Clank hypnotized them. Um, okay. Come on. Oh, come on. Get up there. Is that all of them? Good. Enter. Yeah. Get back in the kitchen. Joke. All right. So get these two. I have no clue what these are for, so I shall leave them. Oh, God! Ow! <laughs> Jeez. Stupid red blocks. Uh, aha! Here we go. Nope. Get over here. Aha. Here we go. So now, um... Let's see. We're gonna have to have them wait here. Stay there. All right. There's honestly a lot of really smart mechanics in these uh, Clank segments. You know, you really have to use the gadget bots pretty smart. Smartly, intelligently, whatever. <laughs> you have to use them pretty smart. Uh, I don't even know what the frick that means. But okay. Um, follow me. And now you cannot hit my other Pokemon in a double battle. So that's very helpful. I love that attack. It's one of my favorite things to use in Pokemon, but okay. No, don't blow them up. God, that would have that would have sucked. Come on. Why are you so uncooperative? Get in. Thank you. Jeez. All right. Follow me. All right. Just five now. Oh, how many do we need? Please tell me it's not many more. Okay, so I'll leave them there. Okay, so we need six. Um, oh my, oh. All right, here, let's do this. Just in case, follow me. I just want to put them right in front of the door so they don't get, like, confused and they don't get, like, hum hung up on a wall or something, you know? So, going to have to take care of those boxes myself. And apparently these boxes are, like, from Crash Bandicoot, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that. And actually, something that I did not know... Um, well, of course I wouldn't have known because I'd never played it before. But uh, I just recently, like a few months ago, or like a couple months back, I played through and beat um, Uncharted. And I found one of the relics. It's basically, you know, just like a little hidden collectible. Um... I found one of the relics, and it was a precursor orb from Jack and Daxter. That was awesome to find. It was hilarious, too. It wasn't a power cell. It was, a, like, a little power orb. So it was just cool to see that again in a totally different game. I really love how much, um, you know, how many references uh, Naughty Dog does with their games. And, like, you know, the PS2 uh, people, they do a lot of references, which are which is pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so we're eight minutes in, and we're pretty much done here, just grabbing some bolts. I don't really need to. I can get way more as Ratchet, so I'll just keep going. Yay, Magna Boots! <laughs> Makes perfect sense. Yes. Alright. <laughs> that is what they're there for. They are there to let you walk on a magnetic surface. Not hard to figure out. So, let's get back in the ship. Hey! You giving me these or not? They are magnetic. I appear to be stuck to them. Oh. Wah, wah. Alright, anyway. Back to what's it called? We're going back to um, the Tylenol teleportation planet to check out that area where there were um, magnetic thingies. Because I want to see if there's a gold bolt up there. Because I don't think I've ever gone to a planet and gotten all of its gold bolts before. So this will be a true accomplishment for me. Because I will have found them all on my own. And I never did that before. So, whatevs. It's cool. Anyway. Come on. Thank you. Alright, let's go. All right, so, uh, Tylenol of Teleportation, take me to my destination. <sighs> so, what are you guys playing? I'm just playing this. 
dot hack rebirth or dot hack gu rebirth god that title is so long it's like dot hack gu re volume one rebirth that's that is seriously the title by the way all right magna boots let's do it as you can see you can walk on stuff it's cool and if you try to jump it's kind of funny check this out <laughs> he tries to jump and he can't that's pretty funny all right so come up here and we got a big gun that's cool uh, no, no, no. Gadgets. Grind boots. There we go. Alright. What do we got? Aha! It is the final gold bolt! Sweet! I've never found this one before. Very cool. I've never cleared a planet on my own. Or, well, I've never cleared any of the planets at all. Because, well, I mean, I just, I never used, I never cleared them with a guide or anything, is what I'm trying to say. So, I didn't never, I never really cheated to get them all, so I've just never cleared a lot of these planets. Or any of them. So yeah. That's where you can find all the gold bolts on the planet Iridia. That's kind of cool. I never found them all. So yeah. Oh, uh, that's something else. Uh, as you can see, see now we have the red boots. They are the grind boots. Jump on. You automatically swap to the magna boots. So that's very helpful. You don't have to actually change. I kind of forgot that. So... Uh, you don't have to run in a circle, dude. You could just run, you know, like right to the middle. <laughs> Alright, so now um, we need to head back to Batalia, that planet with the war zone going on. Actually, let's see. Can we buy me something new? Uh, ooh, that's the best one. Visibomb gun, bitches. Yes. I love the Visibomb gun. Best gun in the game. It's awesome. Alright. It's not really the best gun, but it's freaking awesome. Oh my god, a thousand bolts? Jeez, no way. Um, basically, here, press press B, and you can control it. It's so cool. Bam! Mmm! So cool. Oh, this is such a useful weapon. Alright, you have no idea how useful this weapon is. Trust me. You have no idea. Alright, so now, time to go back to Fort Krontos on Batalia. Explore the walled city. We will now use the <laughs> we will now use the exposed shaft to infiltrate the compound from behind. Sex joke. Anyway. <sighs> That's pretty much it. Now we gotta go back through this area again. I'm not real I'm not too thrilled about going back through this area again, I'll be perfectly honest, just because that freaking tank. But, whatever. It's cool. Anyway. Um, that gold bolt here is driving me crazy. I have gotten it before. Man. Um, shoot it? Jeez. That's... Oh, I hate that about this game. The fact that you need the little crosshair just to be able to accurately shoot something is, is annoying. Alright. Um, nothing? I thought they were going to respawn. You can use ah, here we go. Alright, let's try Let's try some grinding. Actually, you know, I, why didn't I do this? Alright, so if you press left or right and, um, you know, X, you can, you know, jump and swap in between, um, you know, grinding tracks. Now, you're going to need to jump over obstacles like this, otherwise you're going to take damage. And it can be actually very tough to clear these areas simply because of how much damage you take from obstacles. Like, it's not even because you fall off the rails or anything. It's just because you need to be very, very accurate with your jumps. Like that. And this. Oh, ouch. And of course, unless you get the health upgrade where I don't know where it is, you're going to have four hits at max. And because I never even knew that that existed on my first playthrough, I, I did a lot of this on four health. So that is a testament to my proness, that I can beat the game without the Rhino. Ooh, hey, three bolts. I'll take it. Yay! Um, it's a testament to my proness that I was able to beat the game uh, with four, hit, four hits and no Rhino. I am just amazing. Aren't I? Aren't I? Yes, I am. Okay, whatever. Anyway, um... Just jump in the mines. I don't know why you put mines on a grind rail, but they, but you do. And jump. 
Uh, I hope I was supposed to jump. Oh. Halt! Who are you? What are you doing? We are on a mission to save the galaxy. Speak for yourself and put your hands down. You look ridiculous. Actually, I don't care who you are. I've got to get the heck out of here. I joined the army to get money to go to college. I never knew I'd end up in a war. Go figure. This is a noble cause, sir. Noble my hiney. I just want to get home to my family. Here, I pulled this off a busted robot. Give me some bolts for a bus fare and it's yours. Oh, well, okay, sure. Thanks a bunch. Good luck saving the galaxy or whatever. Dude, you're gonna eat by the fish. Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. As you can see, we're about to test our newest automated pilot's helmet. This helmet allows pilots to control our latest high-tech pilots using only their thoughts. Please enjoy the demonstration. We still have a, a few minor adjustments to make. Oh, if they ever get the kinks worked out of that thing, I have got to get me one of those. If they are working for Chairman Drek, they may know where he is. Is that all you can think about, Drek this and Drek that? I got my own problems. If you cannot see the importance of this situation, you do have problems. Yeah? Well, if you're so smart, how come you fell for Quark's stupid trick? Ah, forget it. We both need to get to this planet, and that's all that matters. Yeah, I... Even though he's not saying it in the... He's not saying it in a nice way, I can't really disagree with what Ratchet said. It's like, well... <laughs> Why did you fall for Captain Quark's stupid plan? You know, I mean, it's about as obvious as, you know, slapping a, s you know, it's it's obvious. I don't need to freaking make an analogy about it. All right, so anyway, now you must walk on the thing and move on the thing upside down. I don't know what I'm talking about. Whoa. And yeah, the camera is actually really, really good at changing here, which is cool. So, yeah, if you thought if you thought Super Mario Galaxy was the first game to work with gravity, you're wrong. I mean, of course, there was probably stuff before Ratchet and Clank that did it, but you know. Anyway, uh, 17 minutes or 18 minutes more, like. Um, how about we end it off here? Um, next time on Ratchet & Clank, we will enter the city. So, yeah, I'll see you guys then.